is the Lord. Guys, I was thinking, dear God, if you can't discern and perceive and understand what's taking place right now on the earth as I cut this in 2020, my God, we would have to be so dull and mute and almost twice dead and plucked up. The Bible talks about being twice dead and plucked up by the roots. Guys, there are signs manifesting right now. There are things. To, if I would have told you some of these things even 10 years ago, 20 years ago, you would have said, Rob, that's a novel. That's not even real life. That's a book you wrote. That's not going to happen 10 years from now. Or if I said that in 2000 and one twenty years ago and I wrote to you, you'd say that really is not going to take place. It's it's not going to. And my God, guys, we've got to bear the anointing and mantle. Listen to me, the sons of Issachar. I want to show you who the sons of Issachar were. They were a special tribe in the Bible who had understanding of the times. They were able to discern, perceive and have knowledge and the key was and they knew what israel ought to do we better understand and be able to discern the signs of the times but not only that bring application listen wisdom will do you no good you could have all the wisdom in the world until you bring legs to your faith until you bring some legs to your faith and be able to have it applicable and apply it the wisdom. You could have the greatest idea in the world, the greatest breakthrough, invention, cutting edge. You could be, but until you bring it to the mat, until you market it, you understand what I'm saying? And that's where administration comes in. It's a whole other show. Now, listen, in 1 Chronicles 7 1, before I continue, by the way, excuse me, sorry, forgive me. If you're new, it would be an honor. Please subscribe also every Monday. Every Monday, every Monday, someone say every Monday, I'm live 9 p.m. Eastern New York, live stream YouTube. Also, every Thursday, we're live Zoom. I'll pin the ID and passcode in the comments. That's 8 p.m. Thursdays, and the live streams are powerful. You're catching an anointing. You're catching a spirit. You're catching a mantle. 1 Chronicles 7, verse 1, the sons of Issachar were Tola Pua. Jashub and Shimron, four and all. 1 Chronicles 12, verse 32. This is the verse I told you about before. Of the children of Issachar, or the sons of Issachar, who had understanding of the times, can you discern, can you see, can you hear what's taking? I could go down the line and give you the a great idea what's going on and what's coming. Basically, from what's going on, I see where it's going. If you can't see where some of this is going, the very issues and things taking place that are on the earth, dear God, or where it can be going. What are we called to do as sons of Issachar? We're called to blow the trumpet, sound the alarm in God's holy mountain, and discern through the testing of spirits. And as prophets of the Lord, and I don't use that word lightly, or people that are prophetic that can see, hear, discern, announce the way of the Lord, what the Lord desires, what the Lord thinks about this. Not your opinion, what Jesus, what the Bible says about what's going on right now. Bring language to it. Bring some legs to your faith. Hallelujah. The children of Issachar, understanding of the times. Now listen, to know what Israel ought to do. We've got to say, man, this is what we ought to do. This is where we need to go. We need leaders. Someone say leaders. Leaders in the body of Christ, not necessarily in a pulpit or a platform or a pastors, etc. Ephesians 4, 5. We need leaders, people that are leaders, that will lead. When leaders lead, people will follow. Not everyone's a leader. You're called to be a leader. My God, you better lead. Take the initiative and praise the Lord. You'll know if you're a leader. If people start following. Hallelujah. Now listen to this in uh, Matthew chapter 6. The Pharisees and Sadducees tested him. They, test, they knew they were testing him. Asked him that what he would show them a sign from heaven. He said, when it is evening, you go out. The fair weather for the skies red the morning. 
It'll be foul weather today. The sky is red and threatening. And he said, hypocrites. They were forcing Jesus to be a weatherman. Hallelujah. You know how to discern the weather, the face of the sky, but you cannot discern the signs of the times. Guys, we've got to discern the signs of the times. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.